Hello everyone, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and taking care and being careful and everything in this new year. Um, I'm here to share the Nancy Drew books that I just listed in my shop because I put them all in one listing and I'm going to link this video in the listing so that people can see what they look like so I don't have to take multiple pictures of all these books. <laughs> It does, even if I list, you know, put four or five pictures in there, that would take some time. <clears throat> and hopefully this will be, this will work. So I'm going to show you. There's, uh, I think, 11, because I have a duplicate of one of these books. So I think there's 11 books, and one of them I have two. But uh, let me just go through them real quick with you. Um, this is, they're all in about the same condition, but I'll point out any flaws that I see. So I want to, you know, be able to, whoever looks at the listing, be able to see what they look like inside. So this is the Crooked Bannister. Here's the inside. Let me move this for a second so I can get this open wide. Here's the back. Here's the inside back and the pages. And these are pretty much all in the same condition like this, like no writing, no tears, not much wear, maybe a little browning of the pages. And uh, this one is 1971. It's the, um, pretty much these are all late 60s and early 70s. That's the ones I like. Uh, I don't, um, usually if I see Nancy Drew books, these are the ones I get. I don't, or, or older, the newer ones, um, that are shiny. I don't really get those because I just don't think, I think these are more popular. You know what I mean? So, um, that's that one. This is the Mysterious Mannequin, Mannequin, Mannequin. <laughs> mannequin um and here's the front and here's the back i like that pink one that's different isn't it it should be worth more but it isn't <laughs> apparently i looked at all of these up to see their worth and uh one of these boards seemed like it was maybe worth a little bit more than the others so that's why i have one for a little bit more but you can see no writing or tears in here uh this one i have in all the listings i have the the name of the title of the book and the copyright right next to it in the description and then I have in the drop down you know where you can choose if you would if you would like one you could choose which one this was 1970 so there you go I read these I love these books I was like I should keep these and read them all <laughs> but like I don't have that kind of time so so they're going in my shop um, the invisible intruder um, I read, I didn't read them all when I was a teenager, but I read, uh, the, the, uh, which one? I uh, thought the one that has hidden clock in the name. I read that one and that, that was one of my favorites. And there was another one that was one of my favorites, but I can't think of it right now. But that hidden clock one, I thought that was like the coolest story ever. <laughs> cool. Coolest mystery anyway. Okay. So, um, where's the year in this one? 1969 on this one and you can see a little bit of browning there and in the back in the back here not really much wear uh, all the pages are they pretty much all look like this right here <laughs> you know not much to speak of just it's just uh, you know in great condition the Spider Sapphire Mysteries. That was the Invisible Intruder, the one I just showed you. The Spider Sapphire Mystery. This one's kind of neat. I looked it up and some of them have, these don't have it. Some of them have a strip of yellow at the top. These do not have the strip of yellow. These are all, see how the picture goes right up to the top. No yellow strip at the top. I, thought, I don't know. I saw one with a yellow strip on uh, some. Oh, this one has a little something here. I just saw, see the paper right there? That's the first bit of wear I've seen. That's that's the invisible intruder. Um, so this is Spider Sapphire Mysteries, and there's what it looks like. <laughs> Same as all the others, but um, this way I don't have to take any pictures. And the date on this one, 1968. So there we go. The clue in the crossword cipher. There's a little sticker there, $1.50. That is not how much I paid for it, but somewhere along the line, it must have been somewhere for $1.50. <laughs> uh, they were not charged enough, I tell you that. It's worth more than that. 
Okay. And there's the front pages. You know, the spines are all intact. You know, nothing's coming loose. Uh, 1967 on the crossword, crossword cipher. The Mystery of the 99 Steps. There's the back, front, and the pages. Very nice. And the date, 1966 on this one. No, 1970. This was the 1970 printing. All right. Now the rest of these have a white cover. I don't. Mine, the ones I had were all either like this or with a yellow, maybe had a yellow strip up here, but I think they were like this, the ones I read. I never saw the white ones before. I have never seen these before with a white, whiter cover. I don't know, but um, apparently there was some made with white covers. And so that they look the same except for the white cover, front and back. See, they have the same like pictures here. And the pages look the same. No writing, no tears are in this one. And let's see, the date is 1971 printing on this one. Here's a list of all, looks like all the books at this time anyway. See this? Donna Girls Mystery State. What is it? Dana Girls. This is not Dana Girls. And this is Nancy Drew right here. Oh, she doesn't have, oh, the mystery of the... I wish she had them numbered. It looks like to be about 24, 25, but that's not right because these are numbered. You know what I mean? I have a 44, 47, 48 here. I have 48, not 48 books, but I have one with the number 48. So I'm just saying there's at least 48 books, <laughs> probably. Okay. The Mystery of the Moss Covered Mansion. Here's the back. There's the inside front, inside back pages, and this one's turned up, turned up at the bottom a little bit there, corner. It's not torn now. Uh, 1971. Very cool. The Haunted Bridge. There's the back. Pretty cool. I couldn't believe I found these and that no one had picked them up yet when I saw these at the thrift store. I was like, oh my goodness, Nancy Drew books. Old Nancy, you know, the, just the year I like, the years I like. 19, uh, this one's 1972, you know what I mean? I was just like, because there's another guy, there's a couple, well, there's another guy that I, always talks to me there at this particular Goodwill. And, <laughs> and he was right there and he... I guess he, I don't know if he hadn't seen, if he would have picked these up. I think he gets mostly uh, books that you read, like, um, you know, more modern books. You know what I mean? He doesn't get the old books. So he wasn't grabbing these. But when I saw him, I was picking them up as quick as I could. 1970. Uh, there's the front and the back and the back and the front. The Whispering Statue. And here's the pages. Here's a little note on this one. So this one has some writing. Little, um, kind of, it was given as a gift. Janice with love, many happy hours of reading. Mary Ann and George. George, I think it's George. Uh, 1970, if I didn't say it yet on that one. Whispering Statue. And here's the other copy of the Whispering Statue. I'll just show it for the condition. Because, oh, this one's different. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> this one's different. What have we here? See, it's different. Is it really different? This is glued down. This is the book. Okay, so here we go. Two different, uh, you know, this is the back and this one. This is the back and this one. Let's see if the front is different. The front is different, and this one has some writing in it here. So let's see. Yeah, this is the one with the note I just read you. And here's the front. Okay, and this is the one I just picked up. Same but the inside is different. I have never seen this inside before. 
I mean, I did when I listed it, but I just now kind of connected the dots and realized that it was different than the other pictures here. And it has a dinosaur rubber stamp. Happy birthday, 1983. Love, Suzanne Cameron. This big kind of uh, book plate here. This book belongs to Aaron right there <laughs> with a teddy bear. Very neat handwriting. A pretty little stamp here or a sticker and a little neatly stamped dinosaur. So, and here's the pages on this one. No other writing or tears here. And this one is probably the same date. 1970 trade edition library edition let me see if this one says that i just all of a sudden now i'm curious why this one's different both both the whispering statue okay so this one doesn't say that maybe this one was this is library edition trade edition this one doesn't say that so very interesting right both the same year but different and this one's is it the same size it's the same size it just it kind of looked smaller but it's not I guess anyway isn't that interesting two books the same but different they have the same numbers and everything here 14 so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed my Nancy Drew books I have about a dozen more to list so watch out for those if you collect Nancy Drew or want a Nancy Drew book, I will list your other ones when I get time. So thanks for watching today and happy crafting, happy thrifting. Take care.